welcome to today's episode. I am Natalia and I will be your guide through today's recipe. I will be your navigator on the ship that is sailing from my kitchen into yours. <laughs> when I was doing the research for my book called Cravings Boss, The Real Reason You Crave Food and the Five Step Plan to Take Back Control, that's a mouthful, right? We'll just stick to Cravings Boss. I have surveyed hundreds of people on what their cravings are. And the responses were all across the board. Some people like salty food, some people like sweet food, some people like chocolate, and some people like crunchy foods. Hmm, how about you? What do you like? I would love to know more. So me personally, I like crunchy foods, and that's exactly what we're gonna be making today. Everything almond crunch. And guess what? It, so I have a very excited puppy that you might be hearing her purring or howling in the background because she gets super excited when mommy cooks because sometimes she's like, maybe I will get some of this, but maybe not this recipe. This recipe is just for you. There's something so satisfying about, about crunchy food. Now, when my husband first tasted this recipe, when I was testing it out, he thought that it tasted like popcorn. Whereas I think that it tastes like everything bagel thins, but we'll let you be the judge. The one thing that I wanna tell you, if you're following a keto or a paleo diet, this is approved for your plan. So get excited about that too. This recipe is super simple. It has only three ingredients. The first step is get your oven preheated to 300 degrees. And I have a cup of sliced almonds. Trader Joe's usually have those or any other grocery store. I have a container of uh, Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. And I have two egg whites, okay? Well, the first step is we put our two egg whites in a very clean bowl and we whip them for about a minute, minute and a half. Of course, you can do this with a kitchen gadget, but so much more fun to just do it by hand. And also, if you do it by hand, you can control this a little bit better. As you can see, it starts to create this white foam. We don't want it to get it to soft peaks or anything like that. Just for about another 15, 20 seconds. All right, beautiful. So you see, it starts. When you lift this foam up, it's, it's not liquid anymore. You don't see any of the egg white liquid in there. So this is just perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cup of almonds and we're going to fold it into the egg whites. And this is what's going to create this crunch because we're going to bake this low and slow at 300 for about 30 minutes. Now, you take your baking sheet. I like to use heavy duty commercial baking sheets because they don't warp and they hold the temperature a lot better as well. So now our goal is to spread this in a very, very thin layer all across the baking sheet. Don't worry if you see a little bit of a separation, it's going to be fine. It's all going to come together because these egg whites are going to keep it together. All right, so now that we have our very, very thin layer, all we do is we take our everything but the bagel seasoning. You can buy this particular one in Trader Joe's or order online. There's multiple brands that offer this seasoning, okay? This is what's gonna give it all the flavor. So you can be quite generous with your seasoning. Or use it sparingly, if that's what you prefer. I love everything bagel. It reminds me of when we lived in New York City 
And every Friday, my husband and I would go to H&H &H Bagels and, and then we would get some whitefish salad and some lox and we would go for a picnic. Good old memories. So this is what we have and now what we'll do is we will take this baking sheet and put it in the oven for about 30 minutes. And as soon as I put it in, I will share a great troubleshooting tip with you. So here's a great troubleshooting tip for you. In my video that, um, we'll put it up on the screen, uh, how to improve your roasting skills, I talk about the, the ovens and how all the temperatures and of the ovens vary. But it also depends on where you live, the altitude, right? So I live in Florida, which is a very moist climate. So having anything crunchy sometimes takes a lot longer to dry out. So if after about half an hour you pull this out and it still kind of doesn't feel as crunchy as you want it to be, what you can do is you can drop the temperature to 250 or even 225 degrees Fahrenheit and then you can keep drying this recipe in the oven. So we set our timer for 30 minutes and we'll check back then. And here we are, voila, our almond crunch is ready. Now, look at this. Gently peel this off. Oh, let's taste this. Mm -mm -mm. Perfectly crunchy, very hot. <laughs> and I'm trying now not to smile because I might have black sesame seeds or poppy seeds in between my teeth. So I'm gonna be smiling like this. <laughs> now you guys leave me a comment below, sharing with me how you will be using this crunch. I'll give you a couple of ideas. So you can use this as a cracker, obviously. You can use this as a topping for that cauliflower bisque, Instapot cauliflower bisque video that is on my channel. We'll put the link as well for that up down, I think, upper this corner <laughs> here. Uh, you can use it instead of croutons on your salad as well. So these are just my little suggestions, but please leave me comments below on how you will be using this. Share this video with your friends. I love you so much. I have so much love for my viewers, for my subscribers. Please give me some love back as well. Subscribe to the channel and I invite you to live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.